This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around, we're going to talk about how to do firmware upgrades from a TFTP server on your device. Um, so the first thing we want to know is what version we're running and what's in our what's in our flash right now. So if I do a show version, I'm going to see that uh, I am booted from the primary flash with version SPR08040 bin. So this is router code, the R tells me it's router, and I and I booted it from the primary flash. We can also see that my boot code here is uh, 10106. So 10.1.06 .10 is my boot code or SPZ10106 is the uh, is the file name there. So that's what I'm running. And then um, if I look at my flash I have SPR08040.bin, so router code in my primary flash and switch code in my secondary flash, but they're both the same version. And then I have only one version of boot code, which again is 10.1.06. So um, the first thing to upgrade is the boot code, and boot code rarely changes, so you don't always do that, as well as PoE code in some cases, but it very, very rarely changes. But you need to refer to the uh, release notes to make sure if you should or should do not need to upgrade that code. It's often quite important if it if there's a, a change big enough to warrant it. So we'll copy and what can we copy? So we can copy from the USB drive, we can copy from flash to uh, TFTP or from flash to flash etc. Uh, from SCP or from TFTP. So we're gonna so this is the source here. So we're copying from TFTP and then the destination, we could copy it to flash, we could copy a license file, we could copy a system manifest, but we're gonna do flash here. And then the IP address of your TFTP server, uh, 1.58 in my case, and then the file name. So uh, I don't need to do boot code in this case, but I will show you how boot code is done. So it's SPZ uh, 10106.bin uh, to, oops, to bootmon. So it's going to copy that off my TFTP server, and then it's going to copy, it's going to sync that image to the flash. So it's saying don't, don't switch over, power down the switch. And if this was a stack, it would do all the devices in the stack all at once. But in this case, I only have one. So there's that done. And then secondly, what I want to do is copy TFTP to flash, the, again, the IP address of my TFTP server, 1.58, and then the code that I'm upgrading. So SPR08040A.bin, and the recommended procedure is to upgrade the flash that you did not boot into last time. So I booted from primary, so I'll upgrade my secondary flash, temporarily reload the device into secondary, um, if the if the device comes up and and works appropriately, then we'll copy from the secondary to the primary. If it doesn't, if it crashes or something happens to the device while it's booting up off secondary, it'll boot itself back to the primary uh, without you having to have any user intervention. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this new code, which is just a patch release. It's, it's the A patch release on the 8040, uh, and we're going to put it into secondary. So it's a it's a fairly big file. It'll take a few minutes. Um, again, you know the the PoE version almost never changes, but it's uh, you know you should refer to the release notes as well as your boot file. Again, rarely changes, but uh, if either one of those change, it's going to be important enough that that you should certainly do them. Uh, but for the most part, the only thing that needs to be upgraded is either the the switch or router code, depending on where when you're running. And usually from the factory, you're going to get uh, switch code in the primary flash and router code in the secondary, depending on the model, of course. An MLXE, for example, doesn't have switch code. It only has router code. But for the ICXs, um, you are going to, you're going to have a primary, and a, uh, primary switch in the primary and router in the secondary. So again, it loads these to buffer off of the TFTP server. So that's completed now. And then it syncs the image to flash. So um, it's syncing to my individual unit. And if it was a stack, it would sync to all of the devices in the stack um, just by this one command. So this takes a few minutes. And then when we're done, 
the next thing we need to do, we're just going to do a, a boot system flash secondary, not in config mode though, just you want to be in global um, uh, user exec mode, or privilege exec I should say, and you want to do the boot there, um, and that, so that'll just be a temporary one. If you put it into the config file and do a write mem, then it's always going to boot off the secondary flash, and that's not what we want to achieve. So. So that is completed. So the last piece of this, we're just going to do a copy. Um, oh, sorry. We're going to do a boot system flash secondary, right, to temporarily boot it into the secondary flash. So you'll notice I'm not in config mode. And then when the system comes back up, uh, assuming the system comes up fine, you're going to do a copy from flash to flash and then the destination so you're going to go into the primary flash right because we're booted from the secondary so you're going to uh, you're going to put that into the primary so that's it for this time um, and there we go thanks for joining